My name is uh, Brant Russo. Helen. Taylor Lee Killam. Kelly Hannon. Geneva Dalton. Lauren Correa. My name is Jeanette Marie Correa. Benjamin Taylor Norell. Corey Paul Martin. Cornelius Yukonoff. Greg. Katie. I'm Eric. Come from your life. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. I don't know. Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> um. Uh <-huh. laughs> um. Wow. That's a tough one. I come alive when when you imagine something in your head of how you want something to be and as soon as that moment happens when you finally get to what you want that that feeling is the best feeling in the entire world that every all of a sudden everything is settled and you just you're happy with what you want and what you've gotten is just this feeling of amazement and you're just alive with the fact that you've worked so hard for something and all of a sudden it's all come together and you're there. Why work? I definitely love the children. I think being there, looking forward to going to work and knowing that I get to see their smiles every day and their laughter really, really makes me come alive. I think, maybe this is a bad answer, but I think reality makes me come alive. I feel like a lot of people live in such a state, in such a dimension that they're outside of what really is going on. They're so sucked into TV and the, and the internet and they're so sucked into the indoors maybe that they don't really experience reality. They don't really experience the, what actually turns and what actually moves around us in the trees and the sky and the stars. I feel like we're so sucked into everything we created, not everything that was created. And so I think reality makes me feel alive. New Orleans makes me come alive. Um, here's a good one. Seeing my kids laugh. Hugging. I guess feel like feeling inspired is one of those times that I feel alive, but when it's only in, when it's in my own mind. There's uh, this is cliche. There's a girl in my life, uh, Kara Lisa. My boyfriend. Like Kara Lisa, I is the love of my life, best friend. Um, everything I write sounds better when I write it about her. <laughs> love him to death. He's very supportive. That's a tell of tell of every guy falling in love, you know, love your schmuck, finding a beautiful girl and becoming an artist. Uh. Well, I guess I can give the, uh, the cliche church answer, uh, even though it's not cliche for me. Knowing God's love. I would say for me, most recently, I've been uh, absolutely delving into uh, scripture. Uh, I just, I really love Jesus. God, thanks, you know, like and just learning about God and, uh, you know, the way it relates to us personally and uh, sociologically. And uh, he is, he, he's truly everything to me. A lot of times I don't treat him like he is. Uh, I think that's just the human side of me and the selfish side of me, but uh, he is, uh, he's the reason I'm alive today. Yes, the presence in, in my life. How we can really pour out the gospel into people's lives and uh, and it's just been it's been overwhelming for me it's it's one of those things that it never gets old you never reach the bottom of the bucket as as it were it's just there's so much depth to um, enjoy in scripture and learning about God and it is something that I feel that I have felt And um, just the idea that one day 
um, justice will prevail through love, that that's pretty huge too. Yeah. In people. Um, at the risk of sounding either racist or trendy, <laughs> uh, black folks. I meant racist against white people. Being with people, it doesn't matter who they are or like meeting anyone. I don't know, something about people. And then, I, I don't know, I think black folks know how to live because they've been through a lot. I don't know what I would do without the people who are close to me. A community, you know, lived out on porches and as a community, um, it's real, you know, like they're not hiding from folks and, and they're very open and honest about their struggles and I think that's something you don't find necessarily in the white community. I'm with other people and I'm going places that I've never been before or like adventuring or staying up really late and conversing. Or Meeting someone new and them telling you something amazing about themselves or and then discovering so much about yourself or the potential that you have. If you can meet like one incredible person, I think that makes me come alive for sure. I'm seeing like really, I hate to say the word epic, but what I'm saying like big epic landscapes or like epic movements of people where like uh, the human spirit's like being uh, defined to me and people like pushing the limits of what they can do as far as like helping people. people those are times that, like, I feel like I was meant to be alive, and I feel like I've been, I guess I can believe in something. And, uh, you know, if I had to make a second answer, I guess it would be music. Uh, when I'm being creative, like when I'm, like, playing or when I'm writing. Just, just the passion that I, myself, and the band put behind it, and... Uh, just being able to play on stage every day and, uh, and meet new people and just uh, the music itself just makes me come alive. Striving to want to do something in life and getting everything I possibly can in life before the light switch goes off. <laughs> I guess lastly, you know, just the, the idea that, that justice you know, will be served you know, through love is huge because there's there's so much oppression and there's so much pain and, and, and no one's pain is to um, be refuted whether it's heartbreak or you know economic depression but um, I believe that the root cause of, of most of the pain that, that has to do with injustice is lack of love you know? and uh, I take pride in the fact that my relationships with people plays a part in their restoration you know um, whether that be with the DA that will cause a bill to, you know, like, make change in a community or just uh, someone who suffered loss and being there with them. My family makes me come alive. I guess it's my family and friends. We have a new member. She's definitely brought a lot of happiness to our family. I would have to say my friends and my family. Friends? My dog, too. <laughs> Eating chocolate covered pretzels. <laughs> um, a good time. <laughs>